Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very nice and a rare chess game of Bobby Fischer from the Chicago Chess Simul a 54 board chess simul from 1964 so uh, this was one of the opponents of Bobby Fischer in the simul let's see what happened in this chess game Bobby Fischer starts the game with pushing the e-pawn his opponent is a chess player from the United States Fred Grunberg e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, and we have the Italian game, two knights defense, and then knight to g5, attacking on f7. So, the Fred Lever attack, the only defense, the only sensible defense, e takes on d5, knight takes on d5. And Bobby Fischer is charging the center, d4, an interesting pawn sacrifice, we have bishop to e7. Knight takes on d4 is not a good idea because of c3. And if you move the knight, the knight is going to fall. So actually black must play b5. But then bishop takes knight maybe. So this is not looking good uh, for black, as you can see. So capturing back with the knight is not a good idea. What happens if e takes on d4, then white castles and white is ahead in the development. So white castled, the e-file is open, so this is exactly what Bobby Fischer wanted. So this is why d4 and black is not touching, black is attacking the knight. And it is white to move. Bobby Fischer was an admirer of Paul Morphy. He liked the chess games of Paul Morphy and he played exactly like Morphy. Knight takes on f7. So this was actually a common idea in the romantic style of chess and this is actually not a bad idea this is very logical so this is forking the queen and the rook so what else capturing but now this move has a tiny downside and that is checking the king with the queen and this is also attacking the knight both checking the king and also attacking the knight you can't go back because the knight is pinned so this looks like one of the chess games from the romantic era of chess defending the knight for not losing but now, knight to c3 by Bobby Fischer. There is pressure on the knight. Pinning the knight, but this is actually not helping because of bishop takes on d5 and then king to d6. Of course, if queen takes on d5, then queen takes queen and white is winning easily. So, uh, you can take the queen. <laughs> okay, so in this position, king over and then bishop takes knight, simplifying the game and... At the end of this massacre, Bobby Fischer is a pawn up. So this is winning for white. Bishop to a3, now checking the king with the bishop. King to e6 and Bobby Fischer castled. Queen to d5, actually exchanging the queen. Exchanging the queens is okay for white. But Fischer is not exchanging. Checking, uh, going back and black is insisting on exchanging the queens. But Bobby Fischer is checking the king first and then exchanging the queens. And it is white to move. Bobby Fischer captured the pawn. F takes on e4. We have king takes on e4. Well, if not capturing the pawn, actually white is two pawns up. And after pushing the pawn, well, even Stockfish would not be able to defeat Bobby Fischer after this position. So this is easily winning for white. So this is why in this position, king takes on e4. But actually white has a winning move. And after that move, basically black is getting checkmated by force. So this is the downside of this move. And look at the king. The king is in the uh, fourth rank. So this is not looking good. Bobby Fischer is checking the king. And where is the king going? This is the only move. And after checking the king one more time, black resigned. So black is basically getting checkmated just like this. Checkmate. There is no defense. What a beautiful checkmate, what a beautiful chess game by Bobby Fischer. So we see a very similar sacrifice by Paul Morphy. Uh, I remember against his father, Alonso Morphy. Morphy also sacrificed his knight and Alonso Morphy end up getting checkmated with his king being on the first rank. I think on B1 and Paul Morphy checkmated his uh, father by castling. <laughs> that was amazing. So this was... Uh, the beautiful chess game of Bobby Fischer after rook to e5, Fred 
Grunberg resigned and thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time so take care and bye bye.